So that brings us back to the Golden State Warriors, their second pick in the lottery. Earlier tonight, they took the youngster, Jonathan Kaminga. So, Schmitz, you talked about taking a swing on one, going safer on the other. Think that's still in play here at 14? I think it makes a lot of sense because you have some safer guys on the board as well. Now Duarte off the board. I think they had their eye on him. But I look at Trey Murphy out of Virginia. Okay, mm. six foot nine, seven foot wingspan, shot over 40% from three. He could come in and play kind of like a, a Cam Johnson type of role. Okay, another guy who came up and kind of crashed the lottery and nobody expected it. So I would look at somebody like that and maybe a Moses Moody as well. Okay, Woj is with us. Woj, you have anything uh, right now cooking? Well, Golden State, when we know they took Jonathan Kaminga at number seven. Uh, Moses Moody of Arkansas was a player they seriously considered at number seven with Kaminga. They did not imagine he'd be available to them when they picked again at 14. Uh, but here's Moody, who's been, they've been really high on. Listen, they would have loved for Washington, Washington to have made Bradley Beal available. They did not make him available in trade talks. Bradley Beal has not told Washington that he wanted to be moved anywhere else. So Golden State will leave tonight with two lottery picks and a chance to get another player they really like, Moses Moody, at the top of their draft board. That's a pretty remarkable intel as you have a look at Moses Moody. Schmidt, where he ranks on your best available. You have a few guys ahead of him right now, but would he be uh, the right fit at Golden State right now? Yeah, I mean, I think he can help you with his shooting and his length, right? I mean, this is a kid who averaged 18 points a game in one of the best conferences in college basketball. And I don't think he's just a standstill shooter either. I think he's got a pretty good feel for the game. He can play that kind of .5 ball moving style that we talked about. But again, there are some veterans on the board there. You talk about Corey Kispert, Trey Murphy. These are guys who can help you right away. Maybe Moses knows something. <laughs> We're wrapping up the lot. He looks calm. With the 14th pick in the 2021 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Moses Moody mm. from the University of Arkansas. Mm. I had a sneaking suspicion that Moses knew something. But I know that Woj knows something. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all, right? I think this was a hell of a pickup right here. Because when you look at Golden State offense, what do they do well? Move without the ball. Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, two of the best to ever do it. When you look at Modi Moses, Modi Moses, Modi Moses, Modi Moses, Modi, when he did Moses, Moody. Mo Moses Moody, what he did in college, as far as him being able to move without the ball, spot up shots, great slasher, a guy that don't need the ball in his hands to be successful, he fits right into this Golden State offense. Well, Moses Moody is 6'6". He's got a seven-foot wingspan, and he's a versatile scorer. He can score from deep. He can put the ball in the deck. And one of the things I like about him best, he gets to the free throw line. Like, he uses his body. He draws fouls. He shot over 150 free throws last year. And with his length and sneaky athleticism, he's an excellent defender as well. You see there that, that two-handed tip dunk. Uh, a good on-ball defender that contests things with that length and athleticism. He's not necessarily a blow-by athlete, but he's got great maturity. I think he's a very good leader. Had a 3.5 GPA this last year. Uh, I think he's a terrific player and a great get for Golden State. And you see the boxes here, Perk. All of them, baby. He gets, he gets every single box. And one other thing to note with Moses Moody, okay? He's used to playing a role. If you look back in high school, he was kind of the unsung guy alongside Kate Cunningham, Scotty Barnes, and Dayron Sharp at Montverde. Not everyone saw him as a one-and-done lottery pick, so I think he's going to be comfortable playing off of other stars. Well, the only box I would add is athletic, right? Because okay. he's sneaky athletic. That's the only thing I would add to those boxes. Uh, we saw the Sierra Canyon high school team earlier, this Montverde team, uh, some believe as good as it's been, right, with those guys. Mentioned their 25-0 national championship team and four potential draft picks uh, with Dayron Sharp still waiting to have his name called. Three of them have been called, and Moody averages 15 and five. Mm. Only Kate Cunningham and Evan Mobley did that among freshmen, but we've talked about some of the guys elevating their games against the best teams. Now, look, this could be an aberration. It could mean nothing, but 
Um, against winning teams, the numbers weren't quite as good as they were against losing teams. Some of that you stand to reason. You're, they're not as good, you know, but it's going to be easier. But there is a difference in field goal percentage, three-point percentage, particularly against losing teams as opposed to winning ones. Only play them against teams under 500 in the NBA. He'll kill it. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do that. <laughs> and by the way, if you have last pick in the lottery before Snark comes out, you are a winner. <laughs> and by the way, Montverde, not a high school. When, when a high school team, it's not a high school team. A high school team, the guys all grew up together, went to each other's birthday parties and all that stuff. Okay. That's fair. People are putting together super teams as we see, and that, and that happens a lot. The prep school. <laughs> prep school. Best prep schools, Avon Old Farms. <laughs>